Good morning, I'm Mabel Jong, and you're watching day two coverage of the World Healthcare Congress here in Washington, D.C. And I'm so very pleased to have our next guest here. She thinks seriously about very serious health issues like food insecurity and hunger, and she believes that women really hold the key to solving some of these problems. Earthrun Cousin is executive director of the World Food Program. Welcome, Earthrun. Well, How are thank you? you? Thank you. I'm good and I'm very pleased to be here with you today. Now, why do you believe that women can be so impactful on that front? Well, because of the roles that women play in our society. First of all, women are the mothers. And so when we're talking about issues of chronic malnutrition, food security, health, those are primarily, even in today's world of 2016, the issues that the mothers take the lead on in most families. Mm -hmm. So getting information to women, providing training and support for women, ensuring women have adequate uh, access to medicines and nutritious foods and all the other tools to keep not just herself but her family uh, healthy. Also, women provide, perform the role in many communities as the conveyors of information to other women in their communities. Mm -hmm. So I always say tell mama. If you, want to, if you tell mama, you'll know that the other women in the community will know. And as women have more roles in leadership, we are seeing that women are the vocal advocates of the issues related to human capacity, healthcare, nutrition, food security, all the issues that I concern myself with on a daily basis are the issues that women leaders take it upon themselves most times to voice. I don't want to say that men don't accept responsibility for these issues, but I can tell you that women leaders who are given the opportunity to lead are very effective mm -hmm. uh, advocates for the issues related to human capacity. Well, give me the dire numbers. What is food insecurity? I mean, we know for a fact there are people, many people, sure. who don't know where their meal is coming from right. next. There are uh, 795 million people who are food insecure in the world today, which means food insecurity, people say, what's the difference between food insecurity and hunger? And I say, with hunger, hunger is a physical attribute where you experience pangs of not eating food. Food insecurity says that I don't know where mm -hmm. that next meal is going to come from. I don't have the resources to purchase it. It is not available. I don't have the access to the appropriate health care where I can even absorb the micronutrients mm -hmm. that I eat. Okay. So food insecurity takes many forms, and there are 795 million people who are, who are experiencing uh, that situation as we sit here. Why in this high tech world of today where we can shout out into our house what the weather is outside, <laughs> we can ask a robot these things, mm -hmm. are we still concerned about very basic needs like where a meal is coming from? Well, the reality of it is that in every country in the world we have people who are poor. Lack of jobs, lack of access to income, lack of um, access to the resources or training or education to support their ability to provide for their families. And all of those, there's no one country that is immune. Um, we know that uh, achieving zero hunger for the very first time, the entire global community came together to recognize that the bottom quintile in many countries, in, in every country, it suffers from uh, structural poverty and as a result cannot access food. And even those who are working poor many times find themselves in a situation where they don't have the, the access to nutritious food. They're buying foods that are cheap, mm -hmm. that can fill the stomach, but don't provide the micronutrient uh, support that is necessary to grow brains and bodies. So poverty is a big part of this. Education is a significant issue that is impacting. Uh, and when people talk about there's food in the world, enough food in the world for everyone, if that food is in Chicago and I am in uh, Bosan, uh, Bosangoa, mm -hmm. that does not provide the me access to nutritious food. Okay, you have developed an app at the World Food Program to get the global community involved in this. Tell me about it. We developed this app that's called Share the Meal. And Share the Meal is, an, is a platform that allows anyone using their cell phones to download the app and then to 
see where their money will go. We're not just asking you to give, we're asking, we're going to give you information about how that money is used. Um, and we've had 500,000 people to date um, go to the app and make, con make contributions. And what it is, a, if you go to the app right now, what you'll see is that you can purchase a, a school meal for a child in Lebanon. As you know, Lebanon is hosting over a million Syrian refugees. Mm -hmm. And what this app will allow you to do is not just ensure that the support that the child is reading, receiving to get back into school, but you can ensure that the resources that are required to provide that child with nutritious food, where in some cases that may be the best meal they get in a day, that they receive it. Mm. Well, Earthrun, we're so pleased to have you here. What is your message that you want to leave with attendees this week? Well, I so often hear around the world, hunger has been with us for the history of mankind. Why should we make it a priority today? The reality is we know what the tools are that will help us overcome food insecurity and hunger once and for all. And what we need and what we lack to, in too many corners of the world is the public will to support the investments that are necessary on a multi-year basis to ensure that we can provide the tools to those who are tough people mm -hmm. living in vulnerable places who just need our assistance and help so that they can ultimately feed themselves. We hear you loud and clear. Thank you so much, Earth Cousin. Thank for your you time for this today. opportunity. And I'm Mabel Zhang. Thanks for watching. More to come.